extreme version of biological view, view, viewpoint has emerged and known as biopsychological uh, viewpoint. Hello everyone, in the last slides uh, we were talking about uh, psychological disorders, we were talking about uh, um, how people uh, you know have uh, or face this issue of uh, mental illness and I also talked about that um, close to 65 uh, millions of uh, people in India are uh, facing this uh, issue of mental illness. Now, in the last slide, I divided the mental disorder into uh, two zones. One was psychological disorder, where was uh, the other one was abnormality. That means uh, the abnormal behavior, which would uh, probably be one of the reasons of uh, mental health illness. Now, uh, I shall further discuss about what are the you know what are the models of abnormality. That means uh, uh, how is uh, you know abnormality there. So one or the first model of abnormality is the biological model. The biological model focuses on mental disorder as diseases and that means what we are doing is that we are saying that mental disorder is a disease. Now mental disorders are viewed as disorders of the central nervous system, autonomic nervous system and endocrine system. That means uh, we have uh, in or in biological model uh, they are treating psychological disorder as a disease and this mental disorder comprises of the central nervous system the autonomic nervous system and the endocrine system now neither psychological factor nor a person's uh, psychosocial environment is believed to play a casual or casual role in the mental disorder that means uh, in the biological model they have comprised this uh, disorder as uh, purely a disease why because they are saying that uh, they don't consider psychological factor that means the way in which you think in which you behave and um, you know what you have learned so they are not uh, considering the psychological factor or a person's psychosocial environment. Now what this uh, psychosocial environment comprises of, for example, you are born and brought up in a culture, in a, in a certain culture, which uh, might not be acceptable to the other culture. So what happens is that the same person um, you know, might be having certain issues, but uh, when the person changes uh, or goes from one culture to another, or if you know, for example, if a person has traveled from the village area to a metropolitan area, so the person's thought process while he or she was in a village and uh, they, you know, went to uh, in the metropolitan area. So, what is happening is that. Uh, this is uh, there's a change in the environment there's a change in the cultural environment now uh, how is the person able to cope with this and uh, this could be one of the reasons why the person is facing a mental disorder but in the biological model they are saying no that this couldn't be one of the reasons why because they are uh, confining themselves that uh, mental disorder is a disease and this is because of uh, the non-functioning or the malfunctioning of the nervous system which comprises of the central nervous system autonomic nervous system and the uh, endocrine system. Now at one time people belonging to this model hoped to find simple biological explanations of mental disorder but today it is believed that such simple explanations are unlikely to be so simple. That means uh, you know the way in which a person behaves, the way in which uh, a person thinks that is uh, what is the entire personality of a person so uh, merely comprising of uh, you know only the nervous system could uh, be very simple why because they say that uh, uh, there is much more to uh, study about uh, a person's uh, mental disorder now therefore less extreme version of biological view, view, viewpoint has emerged and known as biopsychological uh, viewpoint which allows other casual factors to be studied in abnormal but primarily focusing on the genetic biochemical as well as uh, the psychological reaction. Now, what does this mean? For example, uh, when we'll be doing the other models, we'll find that biological model is not the only model uh, which need to be considered for studying the mental disorder. Why? Because uh, they themselves are uh, considering this aspect that uh, this couldn't be the only reason of uh, or to study the mental disorder. Why? Because there could be the other aspects as well. 
so moving further we got the another model to study abnormality now what is this another model this another model is a psychological model now uh, what are psychological models so if you uh, have a little bit idea of psychology there are three models one is the fruits study now what is fruits study fruits study is about psychodynamic perspective now the other the model is about the learning perspective that you can say about behaviorism right and uh, as we know that uh, fruit has talked about psychodynamic perspective then we have uh, learning perspective of uh, behaviorism uh, further moving to the third one it is cognitive perspective now understand in the psychodynamic perspective but before that let's talk about psychological model now theory is used to provide a model pattern for understanding human thoughts emotions and behaviors this is what i told you in the fuels perspective that is psychodynamic perspective a constant way of hiding the emotions could be the reason of psychological disorder learning is the way or behaviorism is the way in which the skinner told that uh, the person is learning the behavior right so in this uh, perspective what is happening is that the person is uh, here the person is uh, kind of hiding the emotions here the person is learning the problem and in cognitive perspective the person is uh, thinking in an abrupt manner now what is uh, this all about now just understand for example uh, you know um, i have been facing certain issues now when i am facing certain issue what is going to happen is that it could be any it, you know the reason could be anything uh, I, I, either i am not discussing about it or uh, i consider it a taboo so what is happening is that i am hiding the problem right now because of that what is happening is that i am facing or i am uh, you know likely to face any kind of psychological psychological disorder in future because of a lot of stress that is coming on being that is called psychodynamic perspective in the learning perspective that is the behaviorism approach now what is happening is for example uh, um, you know if uh, i if i am fearful of something for example i am phobic of something or if i you know i'm, I'm, I'm fearful of something what is happening is that uh, as soon as i face that object or i face that thing um i start uh, reacting in a certain manner and based on that what happens is that i'm getting attention now what is happening is that since i was getting attention and uh, in the process i have learned to that thing that means uh, i'm fearful and i'll scream and i'll get the attention so that is called learning now owing to this i'm again creating a psychological disorder that could be the reason of my mental health illness now the third one is cognitive perspective for example uh, Uh, it depends upon uh, the thing that i'm fearful of for example uh, i am uh, fearful of uh, any animal for example we had this uh, experiment by watson in which a little albert was there and uh, the little albert was made to learn what that um, you know that uh, whenever the white rat is coming so uh, there is like a lot of noise so what happened was in the process uh, watson uh, you know when conducted the experiment he made the little albert learn that because of the you know white rat there was um, a, a kind of noise that was coming in so what is happening is that uh, i am or i am thinking it that okay because of this thing um, you know if this happens then if this happens that 
um you know if uh, if if for if for that matter i am fearful of a rat so i will say that oh this rat might bite me and i might uh, have a Oh, it could take my life or i might face a certain issue which is going to be uh, you know very bad for me in future etc so i might think that the right the rat cannot do anything to me but what i'm doing is i'm getting onto a negative pattern or negative loop of thinking now this is leading to what again a mental health disorder now this is just a brief explanation of psychological murder however it's very important for you to cover it in detail now the next thing is uh, socio cultural perspective now a uh, psychological approach that emphasizes social and uh, cultural influences on behavior it is the influence that a culture and society has on a person's a uh, world view and perspective this perspective includes social psychology or the study of social rules roles groups and relationship cultural psychology or the study of cultural norms socio economic status gender values and expectations now what does this mean for example if a person is born and brought up in a different culture um or you can say as i have said in the past that the person is born and brought up in a village and when the person moves on to a city area so what is happening is that the expectation from the person is going to be different however the person is born and brought up in a different culture now this continuous stress and the reason why you know people um, in the metropolitan area might feel that this person is behaving in a very different manner so he is an abnormal person so again oh, you know repeated thought about this repetitive least living in that environment having this constant pressure the person might not realize it that uh, this stressful environment is because of the socio cultural aspect which has pushed the person towards a mental health illness now the another model is uh, bio psycho uh, social model now what is that now this model says that uh, the issue with the person could be out of all the three reasons biological social and psychological that means the mental health issue mental health issue or the mental health illness is no more confined only to biological model that means abnormality is not only the reason uh, uh, or could be the only reason uh, coming from the biological model why because there I, we talked about the nervous system so what i'm saying is that uh, uh, abnormality was studied from one model which was biological model then it was uh, you know psychological uh, model which co- comprised of the behaviorism approach the psychodynamic view the cognitive approach now uh, then i talked about socio cultural aspect that uh, this could be um, one of the model because of which the person is facing uh, psychological uh, or this mental health issue the last model is this uh, bio psycho social model now what is this uh, model all about uh, this model is saying that instead of studying separately the reason for the mental health illness what we can do is that we can find that all the three are contributing in a manner because of which the person is facing the issue of mental health illness so uh, these were the four models now uh, if if i go with uh, this model biological issue for example the person might have uh, got that got certain uh, mental health issue because of genetics now the second one is the social one and the third one is the psychological one now the social one is what uh, the social one is the environment in which the person is living because uh, because of this environment it is leading to what uh constant triggering of the disease which was probably uh, you know got through genetics then uh, the psychological one is that the person is thinking in that manner so uh thought process now what i mean to say is that uh, in this model they have referred uh, it uh, absolutely to all the three dimensions because of which 
the first the person is uh, facing the mental health issues so uh, these were the four models that uh, are there in uh, studying uh, abnormality or what uh, you know abnormality is all about or what abnormality is actually considering so um, these were the three models with uh, which we have discussed about mental health issues now uh, in the later videos we will discuss about uh, much more about uh, mental health illness as well as um, in the coming session we'll discuss about the therapies you know that means how to therapize the person who is facing the issue thank you so much